But first, team coverage this afternoon as Vice President Mike Pence will be back in the Toledo area for the fourth time this campaign season. Carla Byron is near Toledo Express where supporters are set up. But we start with our Amy Steigerwald. She's inside where the Vice President is set to speak in about an hour. Amy. Yeah, Amanda, the stage is set here at the Grand Air Terminal of Toledo Express Airport. Like you said, the vice president is set to speak at one o'clock. The doors here will close in just about a half hour. And if you take a look behind me, uh, there are still people kind of trickling in here. Uh, they're kind of getting a talk from one of the campaign representatives right now. Um, but you can see that there are chairs set out for the rally today. They are all spaced out a few feet apart. They're also checking temperatures for those people who are coming in. As far as masks, not everyone has them on. I'd say about 50% or so so far. It doesn't seem like they are required as of right now. People attending here today had to pre-register with two tickets per phone number being allowed. There are still a few empty seats, but like I said, doors do not close here for another half hour. Now, Northwest Ohio has been a popular campaign stop this election season. The vice president's visit comes less than two weeks after Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden made a stop here here in Toledo. And of course, President Trump also visited Toledo Express Airport last month. Now, it's unclear at this point uh, what the vice president is set to talk about, but we will be streaming his comments for you live on our app and on our Facebook page. And we will also have a recap coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. Live at Toledo Express, Amy Stuggerwald, WTOL 11. Amy, thank you. And supporters of the vice president are ready to hear what he has to say during his campaign stop. Or Carla Byron, just outside the airport near the hangar. Carla, what are you seeing there? Well, this is the area where security is allowing attendees to pass on through. As you can see, there's no line. There was a small crowd out here earlier, but security has allowed them to pass through to the hangar. Uh, and we have seen some people steadily passing through, as you can see uh, right now. This crowd isn't as large compared to the president's rallies, but the same enthusiasm and excitement is still present. No protesters or pro Biden folks from what I can see either. Many supporters here saw the president speak at a rally previously, so they showed up today for the vice president's turn. They're also reacting to last night's presidential debate. Have a listen. I think it's important because he's going to go through some of the topics that I think Trump went through last time and coming off the debate last night. Um, I think Trump was really on fire last night, so I think it'll be interesting what we have to say about that today and the things that Biden, some of the stuff he said last night. So. And this election is less than two weeks away. So coming up tonight, you'll hear from voters to see how they are feeling. Reporting live at the Toledo Airport, the Toledo Express Airport, excuse me, Carla Byron, WTOL 11. Carla, thank you. And before Vice President Pence hopped on Air Force Two to head to Toledo, he and Second Lady Karen Pence cast their ballots at a drop-off ballot box at the Indianapolis City County building early this morning. They both wore face masks and gave thumbs up to the cameras after voting there in Indianapolis. Well, we want to make sure that you have all the information you need to make your voice heard in this upcoming election. Just text the word VOTE to 419-248-1100. We'll send you a link right to your phone.